diving course. As an Indonesian myself, of course, I always wanted to explore those beautiful diving sites in Indonesia. The weekend. I went to Putri Island with my best friend Maika. It's just one hour trip from Jakarta, the capital of Indonesia. So we were already next to the ocean because it's an open water scuba diving course. We put our diving suit, this wet suit, with the fin on the foot and then the tank with the air that is connected to the regulator, this important machine that links the air from the tank to your mouth. And we walk to the ocean backwards. This we have to think. So the first lesson, six meters under the water. It was a lesson to practice how to breathe. Because under the water, you have to breathe through your mouth and not through your nose. So it's a bit different. So we were under the water, six meters down, put the regulator, breathe in. We have to practice to let go of the regulator, hold our breath, and to put it back in. And breathe. Everything. Everything went well. Second lesson, 12 meters under the water. It was to practice buoyancy. This is something to move up and down, up and down, so you can float like the fish. And again, it uses breathing. So you have to exhale to move down horizontally, not like this, and you have to inhale to move up, and on, and on, and it went well. Third lesson, 18 meters under the water, and this lesson is to, to enjoy scuba diving. <laughs> It took my breath away. This is an entire new world, the underwater. I saw fish in any possible color swimming around the coral reef and sometimes around myself. Fun. I'm floating. I can move in any possible movements upside and down. And it's a complete silent world, except you can hear your breathing. Unexpectedly, I was not careful. I was swimming too close to someone in front of me and his fin from the leg hit my face and knocked away my regulator. I tried putting it back in, just like in the lesson, but I was not successful and I start having water on me, on my mouth. And then I start to panic. I was so scared and the only thing I can think of is to swim to the surface from 18 meters under the water. I was holding my breath. I start swimming, panic, vertically, Gasping, and at a certain moment, I couldn't hold my breath anymore. It was so painful, and I said to myself, this is it. I won't make it. And then I felt a touch on my left arm and on my right arm. It was Micah and my coach touching me on the arm doing a sign language. Put back the regulator. So I tried again, putting back the regulator. I made it. It was a close call. Now I 
would like every one of us here, please, with me, please touch the person next to you. And be with me for a while. <laughs> because one week ago, in Wageningen University, in my university, a student jumped off the 11th floor of the student house and he passed away. If I would have known this person, I would tell him my diving lessons. I would tell him, it's very important. It's very important to you to stay alive and to breathe. Because then you can be that friend or family who can touch other people when it's hard for them. 